Oh, this is so nice. I'm back on the road. Welcome back to the Valkyrie Biker. It has been an absolute age since I've been on the bike. Um, probably coming up for five months, I think. And the reason for that has been not only the weather, but um, the inability to be able to um, just go out and have a ride because of situations when I have my work I don't really want to uh, come back in the middle of the night and then be upsetting the neighbours with the noise um, my garage has been full of cars and um, you know the, the access situation has not been there um, but it's just been absolutely awful. So one thing I found when I've been out, I've um, I can notice that my my skills on the bike within a few minutes um, of basically stability and getting remem you know remembering how fast it can go and the acceleration, all that sort of thing. It, it, you do get skill phase. And in that, I mean, you have the skills in your head, your body remembers what to do, but until you're physically sat on that bike and on that road, you're, you might find you're a little bit unstable, a little bit wobbly, not sure about, you know, can you remember everything about doing your head checks, etc. Um, I found that after a week or two, I was, it was still there, but it was like, mm, I could have done that a little bit better. But when I was off for, as I said, four, five months, I've definitely noticed the skill phase. Now, have you guys ever had that before? I'm, I'm sure it's a thing. If you don't use a skill, you might lose it. And I think a lot of people who say you know we, you pass your test i don't know 10 15 years ago and then have just come back to biking again it's probably an idea just to have a little refresher yeah so i'm definitely feeling not as comfortable as i was when i was able to ride pretty much weekly um but certainly at the moment i'm I'm getting better, but as you could probably tell, my road handling, as in my where my positions are, isn't as good as I would like it to be, uh, and it just takes time, time and practice. And I think as long as you are safe, then that's the main thing, isn't it? So I'm off to work again today. I've got a, I'm starting at four o'clock. So uh, I've been finishing around two in the morning. It's been extremely hot over the last week or two, I suppose. And this poor old girl has been out with a cover on her, not been used. So as you could probably tell, um, I've got some oil on her. Um, and I've been trying to keep the oil up, so it's probably going to be smoking a little bit, but that's okay. Um, been recommended by a friend of mine uh, to, to use something called duck oil. Um, here's a picture of it here. And uh, what I did is I put it into like a conventional sort of spray pump bottle. You can get it for a pound from a hardware store, from a whatever you need and um, you just spray it everywhere but try to mind the brakes um, and if you do have to do your wheels just use a, a, a cloth spray it on the cloth and then do your, your wheels so then it doesn't go on your brakes and if it does go on your brake try and get it off as best as you can 
because obviously the oil and brakes doesn't really um they don't go together do they oh it's so nice to be out so nice and uh yeah because i haven't ridden her for well you can see look at the the mileage on has only done 9,806 miles. And that's definitely not from me, that's from the last two owners. I think, I can't remember how many miles I've done. But I've, um, I'm going to start using an app. Uh, so currently I'm, I'm with an insurance company called Bikeshore. And um, I would highly recommend them at the moment because they seem to do a pretty good deal for insurance of bikes. Um, and they also allow you to do um, equipment and helmet cover and you know overalls, um, your armour and everything. Um, can ride any bikes. Again, it depends on how many no claim bonuses you have, how many years of. But uh, mine was, to be honest, was quite cheap for a, you know, for the first Harley, first bike, um, with no, no claim bonuses. Um, I was very, uh, very impressed. So Bike Sure, they were in affiliation with a, an app that you can have in your phone. This is the app, and it allows you to sort of record your rides. Um, and uh, go on adventures and just record those um, see how many miles you've done but it does a lot more than just that um, I think it's about £35 a year so that's not too bad but on the app also has a, um, a crash recognition so if uh, you know for whatever horrible reason you um, end up going down and you're unable to then use your phone to call for help. The, uh, I think you have to go to the description for it, but it will do it for you, which I thought was a really good idea. Um, I mean, no one, no one wants to crash that bike. Um, not only because of the, uh, the health risks and the, the, the damages, but it's also kind of embarrassing as well depends on how bad you uh, crash it. So I wanted to get a little lap on there as well, just to give me a little bit more protection. Oh, it's so warm today. Oh, and I've got my uniform underneath and I'm sweltering. And this is my, I've got my, as you can probably tell, I've got my um, summer leathers and textiles on, uh, but I'm still sweltering. Oh. I really wish the council would sort this road out. There's so many potholes on here. The other thing I've noticed is that when uh, you get tailgated, what do you do? Do you speed up or what? Me personally, if I'm being tailgated, I only go to the uh, the uh, miles an hour that I'm permitted on that road. And then if I've um, if I'm continue to be tailgated, I indicate and I pull over and let them overtake because I just don't want someone on my back. Um, it's dangerous for me and it's dangerous for them as well. They can be in the considerate somewhere else. Right. Wow. That was a quick ride. Thanks again for uh, tuning in. Sorry it's been such a long time. And uh, I will catch you on the next on the next video. Stay safe. Bye bye for now.